Recursed. I'm trying a new puzzle game. I saw Alex play a little bit of this game, and it looks like it could be cool. Objects can be carried and thrown horizontally. You can jump higher when empty-handed. Jumping into chests to access new rooms. Jump into chests to access new rooms. Rooms reset completely when you exit them. Levels can be made unsolvable. Use the restart option. The restart bird <laughs> will hint at unsolvable situations. All right, so let's check out this game. I can jump, and then I have some kind of interaction button as well. Okay, so I can pick up blocks and stack them, it seems like. Uh, there's some kind of great thing up there, and then there's this thing, which I think will talk to you if you throw it against a wall for some reason. Uh, how do I do that? Um, can I? There we go. Uh, I've checked the whole room, and I can't see a way out. I didn't miss anything. It was worth a try. All right, so we've got some narration. Check the whole room and can't find a way out. What happens if I jump up to here? That was the entryway. All right, barrier. And so if I just try to jump over here, I can't do it. So presumably I need to pick this up. Right, but it's too heavy for me to jump up there. However, I can uh, throw things horizontally. And then I could jump over here and use this as a step. Fair enough. This is going to get uh, more difficult and interesting pretty quickly. <laughs> Since I've seen one episode's worth of this. Uh, right, I want to throw that. So far, so good. Right. What is this place? There's a key over here. And I can unlock the door by throwing that. And then I suppose if I set this down, I can jump high enough to get over here. Yeah. All right. Straightforward so far. Ascent. I see. Let's see. Can I lift this up here? No. Oops. So I need to throw it over here so that I can make the jump over here. Throw it over here. And then I can make the jump up here. Yeah. So the being weighed down on the jump is definitely one of the main mechanics in terms of the platforming. Chests. But this, this is where the game gets interesting. You can fall into a chest and it's like a new world. And we'll go ahead and listen to the narration here. Ah, there's chests inside these chests. With more rooms inside them. That makes sense. And there are more locked paths. I can see it now. We're going to end up trapped somewhere. <laughs> We're going to end up trapped somewhere. All right. So I can bring a key out of this chest. And what do I do to... I can pick up chests. Do I just have to jump into them? Yeah. And then this one has the exit inside of it. So basically chests contain rooms. And the rooms reset like each time. Oh. Interesting. Uh, so that's the woodland area, and there's also an area called Target. Oh, Target is just like another puzzle. I guess it's maybe a uh, kind of more difficult like bonus puzzle at the end of this level. I don't know if I remember this. Um, let's see. Can I? I'm curious. I was trying to see if I could hit the purple thing with that. Uh, I'm not sure that I can do that. I'm going to try again. Yeah, that looked like it at least skirted it, but it didn't get me anywhere. And so targets... Can I possibly make these things bounce in such a way that I throw them high enough that they bounce against the wall and land on that other thing? Uh, it doesn't seem like that's going to work. So how else could I get up that high? I, like, somehow need to get the blocks to land up on here, it seems like. Can I bring one of the blocks up here? I don't think I can jump that high. Hmm. All right, I spent a little bit of time running around in this room and I can't figure it out. So I think we will just exit the menu and come back to that puzzle since it seems like I'm trying to do it out of order anyway. Let's check out Woodland, which is like a whole new world. Journey. 
boxes, keys, and chests. There's some kind of... Oh, I thought the narration would continue as I went into another world. Okay, so it looks like I need a key inside of here in order to do anything particularly useful. And so, right, I can press that button to exit back out. This one has a key. Can I get the key out of this room? I think possibly I can here. Because I can throw it over here. The key makes a delightful ding noise <laughs> when it throws and bounces against the wall. So I kind of like that. And then I can bring the key out, right? Yes. So now I have a key out here. And I wanted to bring the key in there. So let's just go ahead and... Oops. I dropped the key down here and now I'm not sure... There's no way to get it up unless there's a rock. So let me see if there's a rock in this room by any chance. This room probably just has the exit though, yeah. All right. So that does not work. Yeah, so I think I have to get another key out of this room because every time you re-enter a room, it resets. And so, <laughs> um, yeah, you can effectively, we're gonna see it right here kind of duplicate objects that way. And so I'm about to end up with two keys in the outside world. And this time I'll try to use this key appropriately. I'm curious, do I have to be standing? I guess so, on this thing in order for me to exit the room. And so now if I threw this key over here, I see, and I just re-entered this room again. Right, 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 right. And so I forgot one of the other principal mechanics is not only can you jump into the boxes, but you can carry the boxes around. So I can carry a box down here, and now I can bring a key into here, which allows me to get my block and bring it back outside. And now I have a block outside, and I need to get the block to this chest, and I can't lift the block up that high, but what I can do is drop this chest over here, and then pick up the block and jump inside of here, and this is where the exit is, and now I can get to the exit. Alright, so that should give you a taste of the type of puzzles that we will encounter. And so, let's see. I need the block in order to jump up there. The exit's right over there, so what is this going to give me? More blocks. I think I'm going to skip the narration because they haven't been helpful very uh, so far. Uh, and instead, hmm, do I want this here or here? Uh, I guess I brought it down here for now. Yeah, I can just hop in here and grab a block and bring it out and just grab a bunch of blocks and then stack them up in order to get there. So one way to think about chests is effectively, uh, you can only carry one thing at a time and so the chests are effectively like a a resource that goes and lets you get a infinite amount of some items by stepping into that chest world. All right, I think possibly now I have enough height, yeah, to get up here. Great. Um, right, what happens if I fall down here? Nothing. What happens if I throw an object down here? It falls off the world, okay. And I need to get there, so I need another block, it seems. And over here, we have another chest that leads to where? That leads to this place with a block. So I can carry the block out. And I think I can just throw the block straight across and carry it out from here. All right, that seems right. Reasonable. I don't want to put the block down there because it'll go away, but can I just jump across here? Uh, that's still not tall enough, but I could do that same move again. But I think this room is trying to tutorialize um, potentially an idea of a shortcut, which is rather than doing this whole stuff, oops, and I just dropped that, what I could do, oops, is rather than go into this chest, I could simply pick up this chest. Oh. Darn it, I dropped it too far. Um, let's exit this room. Let's come back in, because now the room will reset. So what I can do is I can pick up this chest. I can throw it across here. And bring this chest, which contains rocks, 
back outside. And now I have a blah, 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 convenient chest <laughs> filled with rocks that I can access directly right here rather than having to do the whole back and forth traversal. Uh, and so that would have been a quicker way to get enough rocks to stack things up to get to the exit. And so bringing chests from room to room uh, is an interesting mechanic, <laughs> to say the least. Um, let's see, what do we have over here? We have a chest that contains... I need to find a key eventually. Here's another chest that contains... All right, the key, but it looks like I need to bring a rock into there. All right, so there's a key uh, that needs a rock in this chest. So let's go ahead and bring this back out to the top layer. And there's a rock right here. So let's bring this rock into that room where we need it in order to access a key. And then we can bring the key back out, except for, am I? Nope, I don't have to uh, climb up somewhere higher. So that works, great. Secure. All right, we have a chest. Oh, interesting. We are gonna need two keys in here at the same time. So can I simply take this key back out and then hop back into here and now the room reset and so we have the second key still in the room. That works pretty well. All right, great. Pits. And I don't know if I'm going through these puzzles too fast because I have seen this set of puzzles before, um, but some of them will start to get tricky. I see, we have to drop a key down there. And what do we have over here? We have a place to get a key, except it doesn't look like we can lift it back up. In fact, it seems like we get trapped in a pit. Let me just try falling down here to kind of verify this. Ah, that sound when the key gets dropped. I like that sound a lot. It seems like I'm stuck down here. I don't see a way to get out. Yeah, but I know what I need to do. So where's the button to... If I say restart? Yeah, that will restart the level. Uh, so in here is the place with the key, and in here is the exit, but the key can never be lifted back out. So what I need to do is I need to bring the exit down to the key, um, which I can do like this. So I'm carrying the exit room. I brought the exit room down to the key since I can't bring the key up to it. And yeah, I think this should do what we need to do. Ding. <laughs> All right, cool. That's fun. Awkward. Uh, there's a key down there. And so I presume, oh, but I can't even, hmm lift that up. There's a block in here, however, but that also has the key and the exit. So I need to bring this block back outside. Uh, and even that is going to be possibly difficult. No, I can do that. Okay. In addition to throwing objects, you can just drop them. So I managed to get kind of enough leverage to do that or whatever. So now I believe I could bring uh, this chest. Oops. Um, hey. This chest... Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Cut it out. <laughs> I'm trying to drop this chest down here, which I'm pretty sure I can do. Yeah, I should be able to do this. There we go. Okay, the chest is down there. Um, I would like to take the rock with me. Actually, I don't need to take the rock with me, do I? If I just bring the key, remind me what's in here. Except for it seems like I'm gonna need more rocks, maybe? Um, how many rocks do I need? What do I need to do here? If I do this, is this enough? That is not enough. I still need one more rock, it seems like. So the question is, how could I bring a rock into this room? And I think the answer is by bringing a rock out of this room, which I think I can do here. And then bringing it right back in. Oh, I think that was the bird who was going to tell me that things have become unsolvable. Oh, because I lost the key. Um, yeah, the bird is flying around. So he's telling us the room has become unsolvable. Right, I brought the key into this room and then I reset it. And so that destroyed the key permanently. Got it. Okay, so let's restart. So there's only one key and it's out in the main room. So I can't carry it into the other room until I'm ready to go. And this room is a rock creator. 
And so I can use this room to create a rock to set out here so that I can move the chest. Uh, but then let's not carry the key into the chest until we have all the resources that we need. So we're going to leave the key out here. We're going to use our rock creator room to create a new rock, which I will bring outside. And then, hmm, if I bring the rock back into the room, then it's just going to reset and I can't also bring the key back into the room. And I think I need the two rocks. Because, yeah, if I were carrying the key, I would need the second rock to get in here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's listen to the narration on this one. I don't immediately see it. Oops. When you exit a room, it ceases to exist. And when you enter it again, it's recreated. All right, I know that. If you leave something in a room, it'll cease to exist too. I discovered that with the key. Okay, so that's not actually telling me any useful new information. Uh, let's step back out here and see what we got. Um, all we have is a rock and a key. And I definitely need to bring the key into the room because that's the only way I could get the key in here, right? So perhaps there's a way to do it with just these pieces. Oh, and I might actually see it too. What if... Rather than trying to bring the key up there, I simply throw the key. There we go. That unlocks the door. All right. Cool. Situation. Uh, two chests. Let's see what's in the left chest. The left chest is an infinite supply of rocks. Okay, great. Uh, that seems like it's going to be useful. I'll go ahead and I'll just take it with me. Who wouldn't want to be carrying around an infinite supply of rocks? In fact, it looks like I will need that infinite supply of rocks right now. So let's grab one and get out of here and put it down. And I think I need another one. And bring it here. All right. And is that enough to get up here? I think so. All right, that was pretty straightforward. What do we got next? Loop. Uh, loop. So I could bring the key down there and not get back up. I can bring the rock down and I think I can get back up. So let's start with the rock. Does that let me get to the key? Oh, it does not. All right, if I go in here, the room contains itself. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, which means every room has an exit. So, um, hmm. But I can't get back out, right? Hmm. So I need to... Hmm. Alright, I just stopped to think for a moment. If I use the key... Uh, then it doesn't help me because I can't bring a rock back out of this chest, right? I can't bring anything back out of anywhere because once I fall off this platform, I can't get back up there. So I just keep going deeper and deeper. And every time I pop back out of the chest, it's just going to reset. So what is it I think I would need to do? I think I would need to bring a key down here in order to open the thing. Then I would be able to jump up there, but I would need at least one rock to be able to jump up high enough to get up there, I think, and possibly multiple rocks. And I could bring the chest places, but there aren't any places that I can bring it right now. And once again, there's no way for me to bring an item out of this room as far as I can tell. Oh, I can bring a key from the left-hand side down to the right-hand side, and now I have both a key and a rock. And so now I can use the key on the door, and hopefully one rock is enough. I don't think one rock is going to be enough, though, because I need the rock up here, and I don't see a way to get the rock up here without another rock. Okay, so let's continue thinking. Boop. 
Okay, what if I carry one rock in here? And now I have two rocks, which might be enough to get the key using height over here. And I will have two rocks. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Now I have two rocks. And so one of them... Oops. Hey, come on. One of them... Hey, I want to throw you over there. One of them can be thrown over there to give me a step up to go over here. And now can I reach the exit? Yeah! All right. That one was a little tricky, but not in the way that I thought. Basically, you could only move forward through the loop, so it was just a matter of carrying the correct items forward. Not. All right, we simply start in a room. And we're gonna need two keys to get a rock. And then the exit is here. And a key is here. All right, so let's bring this back out. And so there's one key, and I can go back in and grab another key. And then once I do that, will I be in good shape? Uh, the room back outside hasn't changed yet, so it's still like this. And then... This is now a rock. Which I can't get up there. Hmm. I did not think this through. I should have brought the chest down. Can I still bring the chest down? Yes. So let's bring this exit chest down. And now can I bring the rock into the exit chest? And is that all that I needed? I don't even remember. No, I need to bring a second rock, which means I should have brought... Darn. Okay, so let's bring this back out. Um... Oh, I need this room, don't I? Uh, this room is the one that got me the rock in the first place. So I need to bring a rock into this room. Okay, got it. Okay, so I have a rock. I bring it into this room. This room now contains two rocks. Great. And I'm going to need this down here eventually, so we'll do that. Let's grab a key to go get a rock. And let's grab the second key to go finish getting that rock. And now I have two rocks. And that doesn't help because I can only bring one of them at a time into the exits. And once I leave the exit room, I can't go back. So how could I possibly... In order to reach the exits, I believe I need two rocks. Got it. So I need to bring a rock-producing room into this room. And I have not done that yet. So, the rock-producing room is the one I am standing in. So I need to go back out to the top and reset everything. Uh... Hmm... Right. So, this is the room with the exit. And I need to bring it outside. So that now this can be a rock producing room where I can produce rocks and bring them back out. Yes. Now this will work. Okay, so... I can bring a key in here. <laughs> and bring another key in here. Do you see how this is working now? And now I can bring a rock out here, and going out, this rock will persist as I go back in here and go grab a second rock. Except, hold on. This is the exit, and I need to bring rocks... No, I still did it wrong. I need to bring the rock-producing room, this room, into the exit room. Here we go. Now it's going to work. And now I need to produce rocks. Okay, got it. Okay, so let's go grab a key or two. Yeah, I can fast forward through this part now. Okay, here is one rock brought out to the exit room and now I can simply repeat. And here is the other rock being brought back out into the exit room. And now I can jump up here. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Sewer! Oh, sewer is like a whole new level. Okay. Uh, oops, I didn't want to actually go into it yet. Um, let's go ahead and exit to the menu. So then, what is this? Perspective. Looks like it's just another single level. I wonder, can I do this one? 
We have a key, we have a rock. We have a room that I can't drop items down or something. I see, that brings us back outside. Where's the exit? I guess it's gonna be in here. Okay, so I just need to bring a key producer here, and that would enable me to get to the exit, I believe. Okay, so bring a key producer into the right room. And I know that this is a key producing room, so I can bring it in here. Um, oh, except for I need a rock in order to get it up there. Okay, got it. Um, oh, well, it's also a rock producing room. That's fine. So basically, I can go in here. And it would have been better to grab a different chest, I think, but that's okay. So I can bring... Oh, and I need to because I can't bring the rock out of here. Got it. So it's not quite a rock producing room just yet. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to... Think for a moment. How am I going to get the rock producing chest out? I don't want to get the rock producing chest out. I want to get my destination in is what I think I want to do. So if I bring this into here and over here, then I think I can set it down right here. I can hop into here. This is now a rock producing room. Uh, and I can then bring it back out into here. So that's the right idea, except for I need the key in here, so I need both of those things inside of here. Right. So, I guess this is the rock, but yeah, so I need to bring this now inside of here. Got it. And so this is a rock producing room and a key producing room, and so it gives me both of the pieces, which I've brought out to this room, which needs both pieces. There we go. And so here is the key. And then I get it over here, and I go kazing. And I could jump up there if I brought the rock over here, I believe. Yeah. All right, cool. So I managed to solve that one, and more secure. Is this gonna be just another single room? It is another single room, so let's give it a try. Is it gonna scroll? Almost looks like there's... Uh, nope. All right. Uh, what is in here? Um, okay. Okay, I need to get three keys in order to get through there. So I need a key producing room. The bottom left chest is a key producing room, but I can't carry it anywhere right now. Um, so I think I need to restart. Let me try restarting. Oh, well, there wasn't really anywhere I could go though. I need to bring a key producing room to the exit or the exit somewhere where it's convenient to get to the key producing room. I don't think that this matters. Uh, and I actually don't even have enough room to jump into the chest there. So down here, I can't carry this anywhere. Can I carry it to the exit? Hold on, let's verify that. Maybe I can carry this to the exit actually. Yes, I can. Okay, so that is a key insight that I missed. Um, <laughs> the chest, like, rotates around as you throw it all around. That's interesting. Okay, so I can carry this outside. And once I do that, now I can bring the whole producing thing in here. Okay, great. So, this is, I believe, a chest that I can bring anything out of. Is that true? Because uh, I can hop in here and grab a key, but I need that I need that production room. Oh, I am inside that room, right. So I think I can bring this back out and I can bring this back out, which is a little bit tedious. I wonder if there was a way to save myself some time here, but I can't immediately see it if there is. But I believe if I bring this back out, yes, then I brought another key into this room. And if I step out and back in here, uh, like that door is still open because I'm popping out. Yeah, so I can go back in and get another key and then use the key that's here. 
So this totally works. I feel like there might have been a more efficient way to do it, but I don't immediately see what it was. But I think I will take the win. And then I want to go back to that target level back from the first set of levels and just see if I have any new insights on that one. But then that'll probably be where we finish things up for today. But yeah, I'm not sure how interesting it is to watch solving all of these puzzles, maybe. Hopefully you're enjoying it. That's a whole new set of levels. And I want to go back here because there was this one called Target that I never figured out. Do I have any new insights for this target? Does the name clue me in? That almost makes me think again that I just, I want to throw this like in a particular location to hit that or something. Um, doesn't seem like, is there a way that I can like bounce a rock to get it to land on top of, you know, up here so that I can jump high enough? I don't see anywhere that I can do that. And I can't just use kind of like the low bounce or whatever to get something over there. So yeah, I still don't think I have any new insights for how to do this room. Yeah, all right, so that can be something I leave for next time uh, or some future time as well. But that is a first look at Recursed. It seems like there's lots of levels. Um, and, oh, what is this? Nexus, did I, is this like the first puzzle? Oh, locked, woodland. Okay, woodland was the first thing I went to. Sewer was the next one I was just starting to get into. Okay, so I guess like the Nexus is basically, I guess that used to be locked. Um, it's kind of like your quick warp to all the different levels as opposed to having to nest inside them from the menu screen, I think, if that makes any sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and end things there. Hope you guys are having a great day. I uh, hope you think this game looks interesting, and I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.